ghosts are Pac-Man. The point of the game is to make the other guy run into like that or make him fall into the pits. The point of this game. We were just so impressed. We're like, wow, we get to make Pac-Man. We get to make Frogger. And I made a, star, uh, a Space Invaders game. And, and then we get to create our own games. And, and it was just so much fun. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, now we got to try to teach these kids. And everybody that was there were really elementary teachers. They were kind of like middle school and high school teachers. And they were teaching you know, computer science and, and math. And we said, oh, we're going to try with our fourth graders. And everybody's like, whoa, I don't know about that. But these guys blew us away. They were doing more in a half a day than it took us, than we did in like three days. You know, I was like, holy cow, these guys are amazing. You know, typically, kids would just look it up on the Wikipedia, but instead, the computational thinking approach is to say, Let, let's look at this idea and express it computationally. So for instance, uh, mods like can be conceptualized as bits and pieces of mods. So you can stack them up, but then you can say a simple rule for mod would be if, there's, if this is a piece of mod, and if there's nothing below it, then it falls down. Right? And so that would be a rule. You say, if I'm a piece of mod, and if there's nothing below me, I drop down. And then you take this idea, you express it computationally as a rule, like if there's nothing below me, I drop down and then you apply it to many, many agents, like thousands of agents, and then the computer essentially takes your idea, visualizes the consequences of your own thinking, and shows you the result. And so you reconceptualize this idea, and you get a sense of how it really could work by expressing these rules and having the computer help you to really understand how science works. You have to do the order of operations. You have to do, um, you know, I shouldn't, you have to kind of have some common sense, you know, like, well, I shouldn't have, like, cars filling up the whole road or else it's impossible, you know? So you have to do some common sense and, you know. Does that make sense now? So that's just four moves instead of having to do it like this. So we'll apply, okay. Reset it and play. See what happens. Oh, now you're in trouble. Now they're chasing you. Okay. They're coming after you, man. Look out! I'm just gonna. I just don't know how to do game after. Yeah. Good play. Good play. Good play. I think this definitely helps them think and problem solve because it's you know well it's got to be sequential and logical and there's got if there's a problem here it's got to be something that we did here so they can figure that out. The computer doesn't make the mistake, it's what we put into it. So I think they're starting to figure that out. It takes, it takes you know, you have to have, it's not like a one day project, oh, I can just do this in an hour, you know? You have to put some thought into it and really. All the ghosts and super packs I've designed two so far. Well, actually, I tried making three, and I've just kind of started the, my third one. So it's, it's this whole negative backlash that, you know, when we ask kids and say, what do you think about programming at the middle school level? They, they say, oh, programming, that's hard and boring. And that, that's not a trade-off. It's not that they say, oh, it's hard, but if I do it, it's going to be very fulfilling. It's just from their point of view, hard and boring. So, so it's a kind of skill that really doesn't get much of their attention. And ultimately, they, they don't really care about any kind of computing-related careers. And consequently, you know, we, we have a hard time to create the next generation of our 21st century workforce. Part of class is just designing games. That's what I want. That's what I've always wanted to do when I grow up. Is, yeah. Mhm. Mm Why? Because just.
computers are so interesting. They're so amazing. Sometimes I think, you know, I sometimes I'm playing video games and I'm thinking, now how would they design that? I'm thinking things like that sometimes.